hello everyone and welcome back to picture astrology in today's video we will talk about effects of jupiter in the ninth house for a pieces ascendant horoscope now when the ascendant is pieces jupiter in the ninth house goes in the sign of scorpio and we know that every planetary position is very important for a chart uh, every single position affects multiple aspects however this particular one the placement of jupiter is extremely critical when it comes to pieces ascendant because pieces is the lord of ascendant the very first house which actually defines your true personality and i have talked more about it in the video finding who you truly are by looking at the ascendant in this video what we will look for is how this position of jupiter here affects your overall life because it is lord of first house how it affects your kids your marriage your work life and though this position is generally generally regarded very very auspicious still there are a couple of drawbacks in this so what are those drawbacks and how we can overcome we will see all of them in next few minutes so before we go into the specifics of this placement let's just see how important jupiter is for pieces ascendant so jupiter is lord of two signs sagittarius and pieces so pieces happens to be the very first house or the ascendant and ascendant you know people will argue uh, that ascendant is by far the most important point in the entire zodiac and the lord of ascendant the most important planet because it defines your entire personality it defines your physique it shows pretty much your entire life in a nutshell it also controls your mental abilities because first house is the house of your head which is your brain and sagittarius falls into the 10th house 10th house is the second most important house in the horoscope it represents your work it also represents what kind of legacy you are going to leave in this world or how people perceive you and for most of us our work is what defines us so you see jupiter is a planet which for a pieces and ascendant horoscope pretty much defines the personality so the placement or good placement of jupiter is one of the utmost important thing for a pieces ascendant horoscope and the placement of jupiter in the ninth house in this case which is the sign of scorpio which is a friendly sign for jupiter is considered a blessing a blessing which will help person throughout the life in ninth house is considered the house of dharma and dharma uh, loosely translated is known as duty but there is a very good definition of dharma that says you know dharma is actually knowing what is the right thing to do and then having the courage to do that right thing also so for most part you know most of the human being struggle to even know what is the right thing to do in any situation you know in personal life in private life in work life anywhere you know the, uh, it, uh, dharma doesn't Uh, confines itself to religious practice or spiritual practice or you know going to church or temple i mean those things are also part of dharma or your duties but in the broader term dharma really means that having the wisdom to know what is the right thing to do in any situation and then have the courage to do that right thing as well now this placement of jupiter actually provides both of these qualities in abundance so people with this placement or this placement really blesses the native with the wisdom and consciousness to know the right thing you know what is the right thing to do in any situation of life and it also gives enough courage to always follow that path unflinchingly so that is why it is said that this placement makes the native very lucky because they are always following the right path now coming to the first house significations uh, because jupiter is the lord of the very first house 
so first house among other things shows your early life so the ascendant basically is a point of birth it shows that something took birth in this world and the influences on the first house shows what was the condition at the time of birth so since jupiter has a direct aspect on this house it shows that the condition at the time of birth were quite pleasant that the people surrounding the birth which generally is you know your mother father and family members are of a religious or spiritual inclination or of high ethical and moral standards now a horoscope can even reveal things like you know very specific things like uh, which direction in which the maternity bed was uh, was placed uh, when when the birth took place and so on but that's not the topic to discuss today right now uh, but uh, coming back to the the condition of birth and the family members the aspect of jupiter again on the first house shows that throughout the lifetime throughout the life span of the person the relationship between the family members remains very cordial so relationship between the parents and the kid or between the siblings and and the native it remains pretty cordial because jupiter also has the aspect on the third house which is the house of the siblings now as we saw that this placement in the ninth house gives a personality which sort of always follow the path of dharma so this uh, goodness or cordiality in the relationship also extends to later in your life that is your married life is also generally very happy the relationship between the wife and husband remains cordial throughout also since jupiter has a direct aspect on the 5th house 5th house shows your children your you know kids or your progeny what this shows is one that the number of kids are generally low uh, now again this uh, video is not to ascertain the number of kids a person will have but uh, this position just uh, suggests that the person will have limited number of children but the kids will do very well in life they will be you know uh, similar uh, to the nature of the native you know they will be brought up in a very caring and nurturing environment and they will also inculcate all the great qualities of the family members in the natives and do well in life so now let's talk about the 10th house which shows your work area because jupiter is lord of the 10th house sagittarius so the placement of jupiter in 9th house with its aspect on the third which is your communication skill or third house is also the house where the thought process begins so what happens is generally these people are very curious in nature they they want to learn things they are genuinely interested in knowing how things work and also ninth house is the house of higher education or higher knowledge so this position blesses person with both a good formal degree as well as informal knowledge so they have you know very good interpersonal skills they are able to make relationship with people forge relationship understand human nature very well and because of this placement of of the of the jupiter in the ninth house they also get resources and connections which are needed to succeed in life and they make great use of it so what generally happens is they do multifaceted work so they because of their knowledge and formal education they could easily become a doctor or a lawyer or any related field plus they would also continue to do some business activities uh, many times we have seen that they continue to do uh, well in their family business even expand it and at the same time work as a professional in as a as a parallel field so from the work point of view from recognition in the worldly life or social circle also this is a great position plus jupiter's placement in this ninth house of social circle or of social life 
gives them inherently a knack to be you know present in all social gatherings they want to you know they would do volunteer work they would they would always want to be ahead in any community activities and therein lies a catch we you know we said that in the beginning of the of the video that this is a great placement you know it blesses a person with uh, a lot of uh, niceties in life but there is one drawback uh, which is of Jupiter that Jupiter has ego problems Jupiter wants to be always ahead of everybody and in this case they want social recognition very much they crave for social rec recognition they want to be looked up to you know they want people to recognize them for their great qualities which they have you know they, they definitely have wonderful qualities wonderful human qualities they and they contribute to society because of that also but it's very rare that they do it selflessly they want recognition and to get that recognition they sometimes overindulge in activities they overspend on you know upliftment of others primarily you know it is both they they genuinely are interested in helping others but they're also driven with their ego with with a craving to be you know recognized you know socially so if, if they are in you know in social circle and they see that oh somebody donated hundred thousand dollars they would want to donate one fifty thousand dollar or two hundred thousand dollar because they want that name and fame so that is one negative quality of this placement which which we have observed in many horoscope and uh, you know uh, it actually depends on the placement of saturn because saturn can give uh, give you humility it can balance out this position so uh, you know to 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 clearly say that this kind of situation of ego will exist the situation of saturn as well as moon has to be looked at in the chart but uh, you know this is the overall quick analysis of this position we can probably go on for another half an hour but uh, that would make the video very long so i really hope you like uh, you like this explanation uh, please hit the subscribe and like button to continue to receive more updates from me uh, i will be back soon with another interesting video until then have a wonderful life bye bye